Is your panini press collecting dust? Well, no longer because Lisa's come up with amazing and delicious ways to reinvent it. Apparently, panini makers are not just for paninis. Tell us, Lee, what are we gonna do? Okay, we're gonna start with making French toast in the panini maker. And not only are we gonna make just French toast, but we're gonna make it into s'mores French toast. So we have three eggs that we're just gonna whisk together, a quarter of a cup of milk, a tablespoon of sugar, a pinch of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're gonna whisk that together. Faster. Good. Good. We're gonna dip the bread into the egg mixture, and while I'm doing that, you just give that a little butter. Sizzling. And we will just put our French toast right in there, close it up, and cook. Easy, oh. huh? So easy. So we're gonna make this into s'mores French toast. Because that's not nearly it's, delicious It's enough. not decadent enough. So we're gonna put some marshmallow fluff on top, right in the center there some chocolate, and graham cracker crumbs. Now take that piece, flip it on top. Good, put the press down so it all melts, and then we eat. Oh, look at that. The best day of my life. It's like marshmallow mountain. I knew you'd like it. Oh my God, it looks so good. <laughs> it's so good. It actually could use some maple syrup too. <laughs> It's not sweet enough. Okay, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> I need one more bite. I know what to make to keep her quiet. I'm so happy right now. The next thing we're gonna make in our panini maker are pita chips two ways. The first way we're gonna do it is a sweet way. And we're gonna brush each pita with melted butter. Can you use big pitas or just mini ones? Yeah, you can use whatever size you like. I just thought these were cute. And cute. cover them in cinnamon sugar. Cute. So cute. And then they will go in the panini maker for five minutes. And you get a nice crispy cracker. A savory way to make them is brush them in olive oil. I highly recommend this French toast. Are you gonna help or? Brush them in olive oil and then coat them with a little bit of salt and some dried Italian herbs. Put them in, baby. And we're gonna let those crisp up. Five minutes. Pasta French toast. <laughs> <laughs> so our pita chips are ready mm. while you're finishing eating. Those look really, really and good they're too. Crispy, and you can use them as appetizers to dip with any sort of. Amazing. And there you go. Mm, I'll try those too. <laughs> Our final use for the panini maker is eggs, bacon, and your toast so you have a meal. Good job. So leave it open to cook for about two minutes. What about the bacon? You can put a piece on. Throw it on. Throw it all on. And then we've just Ooh. buttered up some bread and you can throw the bread on too if there's room. It's like a whole breakfast on a there wow. you go. And then we're gonna close it up as soon as the egg firms up a little bit. Our breakfast is ready. So we have the toast. It's a breakfast of champions. Our fried egg on top and finish it off with some bacon. Okay, so Lisa's taught us three delicious things we can make on our panini press other than paninis, of course. And she also says you can put pizza on it, like day old pizza, yum. Chicken. Reheat anything. Everyone needs a panini press, and that's why. It's delicious. If you like what you see, press like and subscribe to our videos. <laughs>